more details from Mayor Cantrell about a new project that she says will help reduce flooding. The mayor's comments on the $31 million Mirabu Water Garden Project come after her week-long conference on climate change in Dubai. Ashlyn Brothers has more on the groundbreaking. Back from Dubai, Mayor Latoya Cantrell gives a glimpse of how New Orleans is embracing climate adaptation by focusing on green infrastructure projects like this one finally coming to fruition after multiple delays. Well, this is a world example, an international example of how we are, one, spending the federal dollar, but mitigating flooding. And it is an example of us learning how to live with water. The project, made possible through federal funding, is on donated land from the Sisters of St. Joseph, who relocated to Baton Rouge after Hurricane Katrina forced their building to come down. It's sacred space. It's really holy ground. The 25-acre Blue Green Green Park will have a stormwater detention areas, doubling as recreational and educational areas, walking paths, pump stations, and permeable parking, all with the goal of mitigating flooding in the Gentilly Resilience District. I had almost given up hope, but this was just so exciting and we're so appreciative. Residents in the area felt the effects of flooding firsthand a week ago. After a while, you, you get used to it. <laughs> But being here today and knowing there's a possibility that it won't be happening on a continuous basis uh, is great. The Mirabu Water Garden Project is slated to be complete sometime in 2025. Mayor Cantrell says it's anticipated to have a $210 million economic impact as a result of avoiding flooding losses, business interruption, and urban heat reduction. Sister Pat says she prayed for a project like this. So the pipes will open, the water will flow in here, and then the pipes will close and it'll hold the water, blessing it, blessing it. Adding it'll save thousands of acres in all directions from flooding at all, leading to minimal flooding for 6,000 plus acres and reduced flooding for 9,000 acres in all directions. It's going to be lovely, a meditative place, a contemplative place where people can really become aware of God's presence in the land and the birds and the breeze and the trees. That's why I'm excited about it. And people all over the world, this can be replicated in every city that endures flooding. So people all over the world are waiting for it to be born. Mayor Cantrell says eight green infrastructure projects are slated to move forward and begin construction in 2024.